Welcome to this follow-up tutorial to my how to create custom LUTs tutorial from yesterday. This is going to be pretty similar with one significant difference. Um, the other question that I'm, that I'm getting a lot uh, when people are downloading my my free LUT pack, cinema, cinematic LUT pack for OBS Studio is how do I actually convert my LUTs for OBS Studio. Let's say you've got this whole library of, of LUTs, you're a filmmaker, videographer, whatnot, and uh, you want to convert them for OBS Studio. That's actually uh, very simple. Just like most videos I'm, I'm recording, everything is, everything is simple. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm making it sound simple. Um, so we're here in OBS. That's my webcam. No filters applied to it. And we're going to be heading over to Photoshop. And here's that original uh, LUT that comes with OBS Studio. When you open up um, this uh, folder under uh, OBS Studio Data, OBS Plugins, OBS Filters, LUTs, then you can find this original PNG. And that's this one. And that doesn't do anything. When you apply that um, to your webcam, nothing changes. So this is your starting point. And everything you apply to this LUT, as you've seen in yesterday's video, will carry over to your webcam. And what we're going to do now, the only difference is we're going to look up, uh, we're going to use a color lookup. As you can see here, um, let me delete that. And then here you can choose a, a color lookup. And then here where it says load, load 3D look, lookup, you can load um, your cube files uh, into Photoshop. The files that you might use in uh, DaVinci Resolve or, or Premiere Pro to uh, to to get a certain picture style, a certain look, and uh, let's say here M31 Lock Lock 32. These are my Vision Color Osiris LUTs that I uh, that I use uh, so many custom things here, and then load that in, and instantly you will see a significant difference. Um, in that original PNG OBS Studio LUT. And um, this, now you will save out as a PNG file. Command Shift S, Tutorials, uh, Convert LUTs. Um, PNG, call it, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, my LUT. Um, save it out. Boom. And then when we go back to OBS Studio and then right click on the video capture device, which is your webcam and then filters plus apply LUT again, my LUT, give it a name and in path browse to your just newly created converted LUT. And that's how it actually carries over to uh, to uh, OBS Studio, uh, you want to dial it down a little bit. So you can just bring down this slider here and then you can see, okay, this, uh, this might work. And then close this and that's basically it. Let's, uh, let's toggle this and see what the difference is. And uh, it's a pretty significant difference, okay? I mean, this already instantly is getting that film look, whatever, however you define film look or cinematic look. Some of my, some people have a, an allergic reaction to that work, but um, you know what I mean, that color scheme that you might associate with film and cinematic, okay? Again, this is no filter, and this is the just newly created filter. And as you've seen, it's just two steps. When we go back to Photoshop, it's just... Uh, Loading that original LUT, that OBS Studio file, that PNG file, and then uh, applying that color lookup um, effect and then loading in your desired LUT and then saving that out as a PNG file and in OBS Studio applying it um, with filters and apply LUT. Pretty simple. It's so easy to do when once you know uh, how it's done. And you can achieve any film look effect. And um, yeah, I would like to see uh, your uh, LUTs. Of course, you will be using them ideally in, in your live streams. Um, 
But um, if you have any links to your streams, I really want to know what you're creating with it. Even with my cinematic LUT pack, um, it's been downloaded almost 3,000 times now. And um, I don't really get to see what people are doing with it. So that will be interesting to see. Yeah, that's how you convert any LUT um, to an OBS Studio LUT in, in Photoshop or any other image editing app that um, that can open uh, uh, these uh, .cube files and um, save them out for OBS Studio. Hope that was informative. Uh, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future tutorials and free templates. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.